Hey Toy Collectors, welcome to another super exciting, outrageous toy review. Today we're taking a look at Wicked Wheelie. This is one of the haunted humans from Kenner's real Ghostbuster toy line. A radio. Oh, oh, a radio. radio. Okay, okay. Not a radio. Lego. Wicked Wheel. Wicked Wheelie is a humanoid and motorcycle or Vespa type ghost. It's a fun toy that has a nice transforming feature. I think it's a little bit less exciting maybe than, than some of the more classic uh, Toilet Terror, Fearsome Flush, whatever that thing's called, the Granny Gross, you know. It, it, this one's a little less iconic, but I had it as a kid, got it for my birthday, and uh, wanted to show it off to you guys. We're going to take a look at the humanoid portion of the set first. He's got this really goofy grin on his face with no paint apps uh, other than the skin tone. So, like, his eyebrows, his eyeballs, his teeth, none of that stuff got picked out. He's wearing a, like, leather vest with some fur maybe on the fringes, and he's got a ribbed shirt. He's got yellow sleeves with gloves, again, unpainted. Yellow pants with some gray boots that are painted in. And on the back of the jacket, he's got a paint app on this skull, but the word eek is not painted in. He has articulation at the shoulders, although they can't go all the way around because he's sort of in that handlebar holding pose. And then he's got articulation in the legs. They go about 180 degrees. His fifth point of articulation is not actually at his head, but it is a flip open piece here. And the majority of his paint apps are on the inside. He's got a wheel, an engine, and then he's got a gross mouth, teeth, and eye inside there. I thought he was pretty fun as a kid. I like to have him battle the Ghostbusters, um, you know, just a generic guy walking down the street and then... Blah! I know Egon is a pretty tall action figure, but I always felt like the proportions on a lot of the haunted humans were very weird compared to the Ghostbuster figures. Tombstone Tackle is so tall and so wide. Wicked Wheelie is so short and kind of squat. It just, uh, it just always seemed like an odd part of their design. We've got the motorcycle or Vespa or scooter, whatever you want to call it. This is the more interesting part. It's a little bit more engineered. The transformation is a little bit cooler, but it's a little red two-wheeled vehicle. It's got a black windshield. It's got a dark blue seat. It's got two rolling wheels. It has foot pegs here for the action figure as well as handlebars. You can quickly see some of the ghostly features as you start to Move it around, but I can peg his feet on here like this and put his hands on the handlebars. And now he can ride his motorcycle around. I actually, as a kid one time, pretended this was the little motorcycle that comes out of the, the fender of Ecto 1 in like one or two episodes of the cartoon show. They had a little Ghostbuster motorcycle, uh, and I, I, I actually used this. I, I don't have a Ray figure here with me, but I, you know, just stuck Ray on it and pretended it was it was his motorcycle. So the motorcycle then can transform into a ferocious beast. You flip the front portion up, and then you bring this all the way down. This reveals a nasty face with painted teeth and a tongue and the eyeballs. The handlebar actually can get flipped back. Kind of makes it look like it's got. Uh, antennae. Down here at the bottom, the fender area here opens up on each side, and little blue ferocious claws can come out of there. And then the wheel section here in the back pulls forward to release another fearsome hand that's holding that wheel, and it just sort of rests there like that. That's, that's the monster. In some ways, I wish the two ghosts could interact like, I kind of wish there was, like, a way of combining them in some interesting way. But it's just two different ghosts to terrorize your Ghostbusters. Bustin' makes me feel good. Who are you gonna call? Ghostbusters! As a kid, I discovered this additional use of the transformation. The motorcycle can be balanced upright, but it often tilts. So, as a kid, I often opened the fender piece up here and used it like a kickstand. 
It's May, and I'm continuing the tradition of reviewing toys that I have birthday footage of me opening as a kid. Today was Wicked Wheelie from Ghostbusters, and because that review is kind of short, it's not really that complex of a toy, I'm throwing in a few other little nuggets here uh, just for you guys to enjoy. From Will. Oh, that's nice. Base Legos! I obviously couldn't uh, put the set together for you because it's in a giant tub full of Legos all mixed in. But I do have the instruction book handy here because I keep all my instruction books in one spot. Uh, well, this one got a little damp one time as a kid. Uh, we often had water in our basement. Uh, but I still got it. And my favorite thing about this set was these little robot dudes you got to build. It's kind of cool this thing opens up and the little hover pod vehicle can come out of there. Legos were always a really big thing for me. I was really into the space Legos for a little while, and then I jumped headfirst into the castles, and I had a ton of little knights and horse figures and uh, multiple different castles that I had modified to kind of trick out and combine and things like that. Loved Legos as a kid. Paper! 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 Win 1,000 bucks. Where? Where? 100 million. Where? Still have that DuckTales coloring book. I actually did a series of YouTube videos on retro coloring books. Uh, like I, I sort of read the story from like four of them. Uh, they didn't really do that well. I did a G.I. Joe and a Transformers and uh, Ninja Turtles maybe. And uh, I was kind of hoping to do that as like a whole thing on this channel. But it didn't really take off, so I, I just kind of bailed on it. Oh, clearly my sister colored these pages. They're really good. Um, I wasn't a bad colorer, but I wasn't as good as she was. Or maybe she colored this one, and I did this one. I, I don't know, because there's a little bit of sloppiness in that. We often colored together, and I remember this being a coloring book we could agree on, because it was DuckTales and not, like, G.I. Joe. Yeah, like she colored this page, and I colored this page. And we actually kind of worked together. We both made the railings black and stuff, so it looked like one picture. color art kit I actually reviewed on my old channel. Uh, the video quality is not the best, but I'll give you a real quick insert here. Hello and welcome to another Action Figure Adventures animated review. Well, the multicolor crayon here is basically a lipstick or chapstick type contraption. This has been an Action Figure Adventures animated review. Everybody loves Transformers. I got a small set of four Micro Master Patrols of the Autobot Rescue Patrol set. And uh, there's clearly some brand recognition issues going on there because people are asking, is it Micro Machines? And it's, no, it's Transformers. They're just Micro Transformers. And clearly, you know, Transformers was trying to get in on the fact that in the late 80s, early 90s, Micro Machines were huge. Thanks for watching this super exciting, outrageous tour review. Make sure to like, subscribe, and check out our other videos.